Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwarven.com and in this video, we'll show you how to add the 90Hz refresh rate on a Xiaomi phone. So as you might be aware, by default, Xiaomi only gives you 60 and 120Hz. Let me show you if you go to settings, display and refresh rate and choose a custom refresh rate, then you could either choose 60 or 120. There is no in between. But using a nifty workaround, in this video, I will show you how to add the 90Hz refresh rate on a Xiaomi phone. So with that said, let's get started. First and foremost, you will have to root your phone via magisk. So I made a guide on the same. You could refer to my guide and make sure to carry out this task. For the unaware, if your Xiaomi phone comes with Android 12 or older OS version, you have to extract the boot IMG file from the firmware, which is currently installed on your phone. Then patch it via magisk and flash it via firewood command. On the other hand, if your Xiaomi phone comes with Android 13 or higher OS version, such as the case with I guess Xiaomi 13 or 13 Pro, in those devices, you will have to use the init boot file, patch it via magisk, and then flash it via firewood command. Once you carry out this task, I have explained each and every step in my guide. So refer to my guide and make sure to root your phone via magisk. Once you have obtained root, so as you could see, this is magisk and I have obtained root on my phone. Once you have got root, now comes the most challenging part. You will now have to make the system partition RW which is read and write. By default, the system partition will only be write readable. So it will not allow you to make any changes to the file. While you could easily read all the file and you could check all the files on the system partition, but you will not be able to make any changes. So while you will be able to access the file which has the 60 and 120 Hz refresh rate, you will not be able to make any changes to this file until and unless you make the system partition RW. So for that you could refer to my guide, I have made a separate guide and I will also make a video if you want. I will make a video in a couple of days. So in this guide I have given two approaches using the PWRP recovery or via the firewood command. It's highly recommended that you use the firewood command method. Just go through each and every step listed in my guide and choose the firewood method and once you have done everything, you will get a file something let me show you as this. Super RW, as you might be aware, the system partition is there inside the super partition. So, we have got a super RW, super writable, read write. So, we will now have to flash this file onto your phone along with the rest of the firmware. Simply flash this file as well. And once you flash this file, you will then be able to access and make changes to the system partition files. So, everything has been given in my guide. So, I would recommend you don't go for the DWRP method. Instead, you have to go for the forward method. So go with the fastboot method and you will get this super partition file to so flash it along with the rest of the files and then you, you will be obtained a system which is RW. In my case, I have already flashed the file and I have got RW. So just refer to my guide and make sure to make the system partition RW. Once that is done, let's proceed ahead with the next step. So next up, you will now have to install a root supported file explorer. In my case, I am using Solid File Manager app. So you can install the app from Play Store. So let me install this app. This is the file manager app which supports root. But on the other hand, it might show ads as well. So do keep in mind, let me now launch the app and accept the TNC. Now let's grant it file access permission. Once that is done, go back and now tap on the hamburger menu at the top left. Then go to the root partition and you will now get a magic prompt. So tap on grant. With this, it has got the magic request. And now you have to go to this directory system product etc. device feature codename.xml. By codename, we mean the codename of the phone which we are using currently. In my case, I am using a POCO F4, so the codename will be munch. So in my case, the file will be munch.xml. So let's go to that directory. From the root directory, you have to go to system. So let me go there. Let's go to the system partition. From there, you have to go to product and then you have to go to etc then the device feature and this is the xml file in my case is the munch.xml select this now choose se text ed editor this comes inbuilt with the file manager app itself so choose it and tap on always and it will now open the file so up until this point you could easily carry out this task if your system is only readable but from now onwards you will not be able to make any changes if you haven't made the system rw that is why I have told you to make the system partition RW. Once you have carried out the RW partition, you could then easily make the changes to this XML file. So in my case, I have already carried out the RW thing. So let's now proceed ahead 
and add the 90 hertz refresh rate. So tap on the overflow icon and tap on find. Then tap in type in FPS and search it. So as you can see, currently we have only the 120 and 60 FPS. So let's add the 90 FPS in between. So copy this in. So simply copy this entire line. Then add it in between those two. And make sure that it lies exactly. The spacing should be exactly the same. So all these three, the 120, 60 and 90 should be under the same line. So let's make it 90. So just to repeat, as you could see, we have now by default, there were 60 and 120. And I have just added the 90 hertz refresh rate option. Once that is done, tap on the save icon at the top right. And you will get a green check mark. So with this, it has now been saved. And you could see we have added the 90 FPS option. So now what you have to do is just do a restart of your phone. So let me now restart my phone. And as soon as my phone restarts, we will now get a 90 FPS option as well. So the only important thing to keep in mind is that you have to make your system partition read and write. If it's only read, then you will only be able to access this file. This You could access this, this file, but you will not be able to make any changes to this file. For instance, you will not be able to add a new line, make any changes. I am not talking only about this file, but will not be able to copy, paste or remove any file in the system partition if it's just R. So make sure to make it RW and only then carry out this task. So we have now added the line and we have our phone has now restarted. So let's now go to the settings menu. Now go to display and now let's go to the refresh rate and select custom refresh rate and now choose. And as you could see, we have now got the 90 Hertz. So select it. And with this, our phone is now running in the 90 Hertz refresh rate. Let me verify the same from the developer option as well. So let's check that as well. So tap on the MUI version seven times. You will get the prompt that you are now a developer. Now go back, go to additional settings, go to developer option. And now you should see the option of refresh rate in this menu over here. So as you could see, show refresh rate, enable the toggle next to this. And as you could see, it's currently 90 Hertz. And it will remain 90 Hertz because we have fixed the refresh rate at 90 Hertz. So as you could see from here at the top left, you could see it's a 90 Hertz. You could easily switch between 90, 60 or 120. All these three rates will now work without any issue. So let me show you. Let's search for refresh rate. And now if I choose 120, it will now stay on 120 Hertz as you could see. So you could easily choose between 60, 120 and 90 and use all these three. I would recommend you to use the 90 Hertz is the best one out of all three. So you could now select 90 Hertz from here and use it on your phone. So guys, on that note, I round up this video. I'll also add a video on how you could make the system partition RW in a few days. So make sure to refer to the video. It will be much easier if you refer to my video. So make sure to go through my video. And if you have any queries with regards to this RW or with regards to the 90 Hertz refresh rate, do let me know in the comment section. And thanks a lot for watching.